Hello guys and welcome to part number three of generation two of the runaway teen challenge. So Faye is waking up this morning and I have lovely news. The apple tree is ready for harvest. Thank God. So in the meantime, I'm actually going to have Miss Lady here. See if she can't locate us some jemmies. Okay. So there are a lot. So we're going to go dig up this one. Dig up these. I'm just going to have her dig up as many of these as I can possibly get her to do. Faye got herself some of those apples, which is amazing. So she can eat a couple of those. Um, hopefully our peach tree and our strawberry plant is growing nicely. I can't wait to plant more of those babies. No, you're not going to school, but you can eat yourself an apple really quick if you need to. <clears throat> then we're going to finish tending to the garden. And I think what I'm going to have her do, oh, the mail is here. So we can, um, damn, this mountain is messing with me right now. All right. All right. So uh, I'm going to have her come and get the mail. And we're going to get our, um, oh, she found something special. Goody, goody, gumdrop. As long as we're getting something special that will actually help us. I'm Gucci in the hoochie. Okay, I am Gucci in la hoochie. So hopefully she is actually searching out for the one that we need. She found something interesting, so she found something useless. Um, we got the moonstone, which is lovely. So we can sell that. That is worth $810. Heck, freaking yes so pretty soon we'll be able to actually build ourselves a little enclosure here and maybe kind of have a tiny little house here something really small obviously um but what i'm gonna have her do really quick is actually come and uh let's see we're actually gonna send her to the gym yes we are and where is the gym again i forget we're going to send her to the gym because I know she's going to get too overheated outside if we uh, if we wait too much longer. She's going to get way too overheated. So um, I think she's digging up another gem of some sort. Hopefully. Oh, she found something special. Okay, so we got three fragments of that dinosaur skeleton, which is lovely. So let's see. Can we locate any rocks? Can we do that? We can go dig those up. Why can't she dig those up? I'm confused. All right, so we can't dig those rocks up, but maybe we can come dig this one up, hopefully. Um, just need to get ourselves a little bit more money so that we can finally move on up. Sorry if you guys are hearing something like that. Okay, so yeah, we're just trying to get some money together so that we can finally move out of this place, or not even move out, but just have a better enclosure, better home in general. Why are you working out, girl, as you cray? I suppose that gives her a good mood light, though, so. And she looks like she's fitting in a little bit better if she's working out and not just, uh, why is, this girl is pregnant as all get out and she is freaking working out. Girl, are you crazy? All right, so I'm gonna have her take a shower. And I'm gonna have her use the restroom. Maya found something special, which is beautiful, but I'm going to go ahead and send her home. Oh, the baby's coming. That's beautiful. <laughs> this woman is legitimately having a baby right now. That is hilarious. Okay, so is there anything here that we can make? Not really. Nothing that we can really use, but uh, maybe we can come have her dance for a little bit, and that will improve her... Um, her fun just a tiny bit yeah because that should get her fun up right just so she's feeling a little bit better you know we don't want her just being absolutely miserable right so we got her fun up a tiny bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and send my girl home because she needs to eat really badly she's starting to starve again yet again um, it never fails um, but luckily we did get her a bicycle in the last part if you guys recall Which is fabulous. She has a bicycle now. So no more paying for taxis. Thank God All right, so I think we just made it home 
So puppy dog, I'm not sure what puppy dog is doing, but she definitely needs some attention. So I'm just gonna have her really quickly eat another apple as soon as she gets here. Eat an apple and then we're going to brush her. Yes, we are, we're gonna brush her. We're gonna talk to her. We are going to feed her a treat rub her belly and just give her the attention she needs she feels a little bit better poor puppy dog isn't feeling so hot um but i'm gonna have her eat some food meanwhile i'm gonna have miss lady here come on over and light the fire i'm not sure if the fire will stay on in the rain it seems to be doing so and then i'm gonna have her eat a jellyfish so that she gets her hunger all the way up and so we're good to go. This is like the best thing ever, if I do say so myself. How can it still be 74 degrees out, girl? Are you crazy? Um, I'm going to go ahead and send her to bed, though. After she fills up the food bowl, I'm going to send her to sleep. And I'm going to have her reconstruct this, actually. Why not? Go there, then. Reconstruct. What are you doing? Stop it. There you go. Damn, that took a minute. All right, so then we can sell this for $1,000. And maybe we can finally see about building ourselves something on this lot. What do you guys think? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Is it? Has it stopped raining? Oh, poor puppy is sleeping in the rain. I feel so sorry for her gonna be okay puppy dog okay so since everybody's going to sleep we're gonna go ahead and zoom past this and we'll be right back when they wake up alrighty guys we are back and it is just the wee hours of the morning but I wanted to go ahead and wake her up and have her tend to the garden because the tomato is tomato plant is ready to be harvested as well as the apple tree so we have even more items which is fan freaking tastic my girl can actually eat something and it is amazing i'm so excited i'm actually going to have her go ahead and eat one of these babies just so she takes the curb off of her hunger i'm going to have her give maya a brushing so that maya is not so dirty we're going to give her some affection and some attention as well talk to her um friendly let her sniff our hand trying to improve our relationship with her really quick and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have both of these babies come over here I'm gonna have her go over here and we are going to buy and build on the lot and see let me just sell that really quick well I need that to not be in the way hello okay so what I'm gonna do is move everything away from here um, I think we're just going to put it in this back corner over here, right over here, and I'm going to go into build. <sighs> I'm scared. I'm just going to create a room, and we're just going to put it, <gasps> okay, this is going to cost 12, 1400. Does that look like it's a decent size? That looks all right, right? We're going to do auto roof on. Uh, we're going to make the steepness of that a little smaller. We're going to make it more of a... There you go. That looks a little bit... Well, I actually like this a little bit better. Okay, and then we're going to go to wall coverings. And there is some siding or something that is zero dollars. I can't remember what it was. Miscellaneous possibly? Yep, it's this one that is zero buckaroos. And then I'm just going to go um, inside of here. We're just going to put down some very cheap old carpet or tile, whichever. I think there's actually some wood that is free. Yep, this wood is completely free. So we're just going to put down some wood. I'm going to put on the cheapest door that I can manage, um, which is this baby right here. We're just going to put that right there on the corner. I know this isn't a very cute house by any means, but it'll do, right? It'll do, pig. That'll do. Um, so I'm just going to put those over there. And then I'm going to put some very cheap wallpaper up if I can. 
Um, this isn't so bad. That's not too bad. It's a little expensive, but it's okay. I'm gonna buy her a bed. A, the cheapest bed that I can possibly manage, which is a custom content bed, interestingly enough. Um, I'm just gonna get this one. Yeah, it's not cute by any means whatsoever, but it'll do the job. Um, and I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna put the dog items inside of the house. I don't think I can afford to get her a dog bed just yet. Actually, I'm gonna leave this outside because those make noise. Um, but maybe I can get her a toilet? Maybe? Let me see how much this is gonna cost. To just do a quick, like a really tiny little room. There's not even going to be a, um, <laughs> there's not even going to be like a sink or anything. It's just literally going to be the toilet and that's it. Uh, just so that, you know, she doesn't have to keep leaving to go to the bathroom, right? So it's a really ugly little commode, but it'll do the job. Oh my gosh, and that is pretty much it for our money. I'm going to buy some really cheap ceiling lights. If you guys remember, I have these tiny little $5 ones. That will do a decent enough job and keep her from being blind within her house. So, finally, finally, guys, we have some place that we can be inside of. You're not going to school. You're not going to school. All right, just making sure that the bathroom is indeed usable, and it is. So we're just gonna go right here, and I'm gonna change her into her sleepwear. And then, um, just so she's not dripping wet anymore. So yay, we finally have an indoors a shelter. Even though we're like, have no money left anymore, we do have something and it's beautiful. And puppy dog can use um, her toys to her heart's desire and it is fantastic and I'm so excited for her. She's excited. She has a place to freaking sleep. I mean, girl, I would be off like, off my rocker I would be so happy so right now um, since it has stopped raining I am going to go and inspect this water and we are going to choose our bait and why don't we do we'll do ginseng seed let's do a ginseng seed and we're going to fish and see if we can't catch us some fishies um, we are not improving our grades, girl. You are failing, and you are going to continue to fail, baby girl. I am very sorry. We caught a normal tuna fish, which is great. I'm completely happy with that, because we just need something or other. We got a catfish? Nice. These aren't worth that much money, but it's something that we can use to fertilize the garden. We can use it to eat. Um, we can roast it, which is fabulous. I mean, my girl is doing a really awesome job with her fishing. So proud of her. She's about to improve her skill. And then I'm probably going to have her swim around a little bit so we can go ahead and improve her. Um, what you doing, baby boy? Oh, we need to get a bathtub so that we can clean her. Um, does she have? She does not have enough lifetime points. Darn. We almost had enough lifetime points. She did improve her skill to... Uh, level four she now has a good chance of catching some new types of fish more valuable and challenging fish can be found in more remote locations so get out there and cast away how exciting i'm very excited for her so let's inspect that water is this water red herring tragic clownfish luminous salamander so we do have a couple more options um, over there really quick i'm going to have her light this fire and we're going to roast ourselves some red herring, I suppose. We'll roast ourselves a red herring. And that will take our um, hunger right on up, which is beautiful. Oh, thank goodness my girl's actually surviving this situation. I'm very, very happy for her. It's been so tough. It has been much harder than it ever, ever was with... Um, with Olivia like y'all remember it was never it was never this hard with Olivia oh I have to turn my cheats on a little bit true so while she is swimming around I can um, 
I can raise her hygiene. I think I can raise her hygiene. Can I raise her hygiene? Hello? Testing cheats enabled true. <laughs> Maybe I can raise her hygiene. There we go. So I can slowly raise her hygiene a little bit. All right. So that taking a bath in the in the ocean, which is lovely. It's kind of like a river, I suppose. It's a little bit fancier than an ocean. Um, we're gonna choose our bait. Ooh, we are most definitely not going to use that, um, but we will use mandrake seeds try fishing over here and see if we catch anything nice. What did we catch? We just caught a jellyfish, her biggest jellyfish ever, which is wonderful. I'm very excited for her. She caught another nice tuna, which is great. It's just more stuff for us to eat, which is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and have her stop. And I am, in fact, going to have her plant. Um, I'm going to have her plant one of these right here, right on the corner of our lot. And let me go ahead and brush this little one here so that she's feeling a little bit better about herself. And uh, is there anything else I can plant currently? I can plant this basil. I still can't plant this yet, but I can go ahead and plant this basil. Why not? Why not? It might be a little crowded over here, but it's okay. It's all gonna work out, no problem. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and send her to sleep. Meanwhile, puppy dog, why don't you come and eat from your bowl? There you go, getting some food in your system. I'm so glad that they're protected from the or from the from the weather now. I was that bothered me so much for them to be sleeping outdoors. I know Maya can't have a um an actual doggy bed just yet because we just don't have the money for it. But I'm just so happy that they can actually be within some walls and not be out in the cold anymore, or in the heat for that matter. So since they're both asleep, we're going to go ahead and zoom on past this, and we'll be right back when they wake up. Alrighty guys, so we are back, and Miss Faye is awake now. I'm not quite sure why she woke up so early, but she is pretty hungry, so I'm going to have her come. And if I can see this fire pit, I'm going to have her come and light it. Gosh, I am blind in this darkness. I bet she is as well. We need a freaking flashlight. And I'm going to have her roast uh, her normal jellyfish so that she can get a little grub in her system. It's basically what she's been living on for a very, very long time. Um, and she's just numbing down on that. Girl is hungry. Girl, I see you. Look at that face. That's some concentration right there. And look at her. She's so happy. Um, it is leisure day, which is wonderful. And baby girl here. I'm actually gonna have her sniff out a collectible. And then as soon as she's done roasting her marshmallows, I am gonna have her come and tend the garden because it looks like we have even more harvestables, which I'm so excited about. Um, and I'm not sure what the quality is of these. Oh, we these are actually stopped. nice quality, which I'm very excited about. Let's see, these are nice quality as well. So we're doing pretty well. It's Maya's birthday today. She's about to become an elder, you guys. That makes me so sad. That just tells you how long it's been. Our puppy is about to become an elder. That is nuts. That is so nuts. Oh, she found a rock? Ooh, a large space rock. So I'm gonna put that in her inventory. And I'm gonna throw that away. And my darling, why don't you come and eat from your bowl? because I do know that you are hungry right now. All right, so we got some more tomatoes, which is awesome. Um, we can start selling these if we want to, but personally, I would like to hang on to them for a little while, um, just for now, because um, I think we're, we might need them, we might still need them to eat. Um, so let's pay our bills. Real quick, we'll pay that. And we're going to analyze the space rock. Aha! It is valued at $435. So that goes ahead and puts some money in our pockets, which we desperately, desperately, desperately needed. So now we have a little bit more spending room, which is wonderful. Um, what I am going to have her do really quick is go ahead and use the toilet because she does need to. Puppy dog is up on the bed, which is not good because she is covered in fleas. Um, hello. I'm gonna have her... Oh, she can't pee yet. Okay, well. 
I'm going to have her destroy the newspaper because she can. Um, let's see. Do you think we can afford... Let me move her over here. What I think we're going to do, uh, just so that we don't have to constantly be... Um, well, first of all, let me see. How much is it going to cost to expand this? 70 bucks? That's not so bad. I thought it was going to be a lot more than that. So we're going to expand that. And how much is the cheapest shower? Well, first of all, let's look at refrigerators. This little mini fridge isn't too terribly expensive. It's not too bad. Um, and that at least will give us a little something to, to eat. Um, and then how much is the cheapest shower? Hmm. Okay. Love shower. What the world is that? So we can get one of these totally, uh, like non-enclosed ones. And let's see how that's going to work. Let's see if it works. No, it doesn't. Okay, so what I have to do, it looks like you have to come in from the side. That doesn't make any kind of sense. <laughs> um, all right, so what if we put that there? And we put, hmm, okay. You go here. Okay. And I'm going to put this... Can we not? Can we? I feel like that would work. I don't know how in the world this is supposed to work. Like you would think, maybe this will work. What do you guys think? Let's try this. Okay, that works. And let's make sure we can still use the toilet. She can. All right, so I got it set up in a way that it'll work, and that was pretty cheap. Down, now we're down to like zero money again, but we can eat quick meals now at home, and so that means we can basically sell all of this. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go and we're going to pay a visit um, to the local grocery store so that we can sell all of these items because I think the grocery store will uh, take the items better. Ooh, her dad is there. <gasps> Talk about computers. Oh, God. Um, it looks like he's leaving. Looks like he's arguing with somebody. Just as long as we can manage to avoid him. Just don't, don't catch his eyes. Don't catch his eyes. Just get in. Just get in and get out. <laughs> All right, so we're going to sell our tomatoes. We're gonna sell some of our. We're gonna sell all but two of our very nice quality ones. Um, we are going to sell some of these very nice quality. Uh, we're gonna sell that Siamese catfish. We're going to delete one of these jellyfish. These are our very nice quality jellyfish. I'm gonna sell some of these very nice quality apples, and I'm going to keep a lot of them because um, a lot of them I can use to fertilize our garden. In fact, I think that's literally what I'm going to go do right this second is I'm going to go and fertilize the garden with what we have left over. So we're making our way downtown. Uh, 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 uh. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, guys. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's okay. Um, I'm going to fertilize garden with the best fertilizers. So we're just going to go around and fertilize it with the top quality items that we have. And that way we should get even, even better produce from our babies here. I'm going to go ahead and brush Maya because Maya is disgusting <laughs> right now. And I am going to give her some affection. We're going to talk to her. I'm going to try and hug her, but we'll see how that goes. Feed her a treat. Um, we're going to let her sniff her hand. She doesn't want to hug us. Okay, well that's cool. Um, we're feeding her a treat. We are going to see if she'll let us rub her belly. I guess not. So let's try talking to her again. Um, we've at least hit friendly status with her, so we're 
kind of in good shape not really but kind of <laughs> um i'm gonna have her come and have some fruit punch that should bring her hunger up a little bit <laughs> she's gonna sit on the toilet to feed it baby girl it's so sad all right so when she throws that away i'm gonna have her no don't make the bed just go to bed who even gives a crap hola and it looks like baby girl where are you going where are you going miss lady you better not be destroying nothing you better not. I'm gonna actually have her come and sleep inside. Get out the rain. Come sleep inside. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this part up right here, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed part number three of the second generation of the Runaway Teen Challenge. Leave a like if you did enjoy this video and subscribe if you have not already. Um, definitely leave me your comments and suggestions down in the comment box below. And gosh, tell me if this view isn't just beautiful. Oh too gorgeous with the fish hopping up the water oh it's just too beautiful so anyways um i hope y'all are having a wonderful day or afternoon or evening whatever it is for you today and i am going to see you guys in the next part of whatever i make bye bye guys